How's it going, YouTube? It's me, Dark, back with another. Wait, let me just move this. Doki Doki video. Today, we're back for another part. I actually haven't played this in like two weeks since I did part two and three in the same day. So, um, this doesn't look right for some reason. Wait, let me just. Okay, that is right. Anyway, let's just go back to where we were. Uh, I think we we're about to read everyone's poems. So, yeah. I'm gonna stop using my mouse just because it right next to our mic so yeah let's just use the desktop mouse ah uh, let's read some more poems bye monica <coughs> let's put the voices god damn it hi dark oh wait that's not hers how's the writing going all right i guess i'll take that as long as it's not going bad i'm happy that you're applying yourself maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece Huh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica, not obviously. Alright. Great job, Dark. Yay. I was going... I was going, oh, in my head while writing it. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. How deep is it? What did I just do? Oh my god. I guess I under underestimated you. It's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Oh god, I could press the space bar. That way it always counts when I put some effort. <clears throat> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that full of imaginary and symbolism. Unlike Saga, who likes to keep using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to desire their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that efficiently. <clears throat> Both allowing people to make to get something out of it just by the feel while letting them deeply analyse all the nuances. It can take years of practice while I, which I'm assuming Yuri has had at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about, don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this turned out, so hope you do too. Alright, let me take a look. <clears throat> Save Me, a poem by Monica. The colours, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colours. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless... An, an endless... Cacophon... Ca Casso of meaningless noise. Of meaningless noise. Oh god, what have I done? The noise, it won't stop. Violent, getting... Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalk... Like playing a chalkboard on the turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Is there more? Load me. Boom. Okay. That was decent. Hmm. It's, it's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Uh -huh. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of film. No, no, it's just... I, I was just going to stop at saying until I saw that it said, look, no, never mind. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. What noise? I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract and a physical expression of a feeling. 
or a converse, conversation with the reader. So putting it in that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Yay! Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your um, What the? Monica? Uh, uh, Monica? I heard something unexpected may ha Monica, what are you saying? Are you telling me to save my game now? Wait, is this even a tip about right? See you guys, I'm done with this game. I'm joking, I'm back. What am I even talking about? <laughs> Monica, please, I'm gonna. Monica, stop. <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, so my character is in a little bit. Oh, let's go in the same order. Sayore. Oh, I like this one, Dark. It has some nice feeling in it. Ah, I'm glad. Still, though, your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. <laughs> I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know me a little too well for my own good. Well, don't just try to be nice about it. <clears throat> if I'm doing a bad job, I'd rather just hear it. No, no. I still like this one, I promise. You know, I wouldn't lie to you, Dark. Oh, man, I love doing her voice even. Like, I can do it better and it's easier. Do whatever. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, look at her face. I'm sorry, I don't... What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um, well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh. Why don't you at least try giving it some sort? Oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. <clears throat> yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up hurt, getting hurt at some point. Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bear sweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. I can't see you liking something sad, Sire. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. <laughs> and make a nice happy rainbow. Sire. That's unexpectedly poetic. It is. <coughs> Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Dark. I should go write that down then. Oh, wait, so that's uh, still. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? <coughs> Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of the cookie jar. It's a secret. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and my forefinger and pluck it one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy sorts, happy sorts. Happy sorts in bottles, all in a row. Let's just take it down a bit. My collection makes me lots of friends, each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way, down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams, friends after 
friend after friend the more bottles deeper and deeper my fingers go like exploring a dark cave discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies Ding, digging and digging scraping and scraping i blow dust off my bottle caps i don't it doesn't feel like time elapsed my empty shelf could use some more my friends my friends look through my locked front door one sec all right finally all done i open i open up and it comes and in come my friends in they come in such a hurry do they want my bottles that much i frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other holding them out each and every to each and every friend each and every bottle but every time i let one go it shatters against the tile between my feet happy sorts happy sorts so sorts in shards all over the floor they were supposed to be for my friends my friends who aren't smiling they're all shouting pleading something all i hear is echo 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 inside my head i took a i took a dark turn Holy crap. So, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being you being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like I feel like I want to express myself this way. <clears throat> Maybe it would help me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You're going pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing till I die. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, don't get ahead of yourself. Sounds as I have of getting obsessed with something before dropping it in less than a week. I wonder if this is one of those things times. But seeing the passion in her passion in her eyes makes it hard to be pu pu whatever that word was. Uh we're going to Yuri next. Oh my god, this is so long. Oh, what's the voice? Uh let let's see what you've got in the for me today. Yuri stares at my poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Dark? How'd you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri vilely swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine, take your time. Maybe Zan collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to sink before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah, just being appreciated like this, I guess. This probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing just makes me really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your right shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Oh, Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh? Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah. I do. If it's with you. Oh, my handwriting's so bad. Or it's too good that I can't read it. The Raccoon. It happens in the dead of night while I was sli slicing bread for my guilty snack. For a guilty snack. My attention was, was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tenderness as an unaddition. Ah, I don't know what that says. One, one, uh, you know what, just damn that. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My sc sub 
conscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that the raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The exciting beauty of my cutting knife was the sim symptom, the bread, my hungry con con curiosity. I don't know, the raccoon, and I'm not even gonna try. The moon in 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 phase and reflects that much more light off of the cutting knife. The f very same light that glistens in the eyes of the, my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited on, perhaps. I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken, taken to following me. You could say that we get, we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feel myself. I feed myself again. Wait, what? Um, I was a little more dare. Daring was this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. What what is the poem about? It's a bit closer to preferred writing style. I'm using poems as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah. If it takes Yeah. If I take it at face values and I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels of me indulging in more usual, unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? It, because they're embarrassing, and people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Dark? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individuals. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and sometimes it makes us uncomfortable. Sorry if I'm reading really fast, I just want more content in one video without making it too long. And I just- oh, damn it! <laughs> I might be rant ranting a little right now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Okay, Natsuki, her poems are really good. I'm not even gonna lie, they're short and they're... Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than the last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. Phew. Huh? Phew what? Uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take a win as. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. H hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compl compliment. <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizing my experience. Well then keep practicing, maybe you'll get as good as me someday. That's uh who tells me that's it's completely missed the point. <laughs> Come to think of it. This is kinda of reminding me of Cyrus poem from yesterday. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. Well I guess if you've been friends with her so long you might be on the same wavelengths. But you never really struck me as a type. Syria has a type all of a sudden. Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so uh fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she dragged around by a dead weight. Wow, uh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way: if it weren't for me, she'd probably just fly away, like letting go of the balloon. You could say we take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem, here. Oh, this is longer, why is this longer? Amy likes spiders. This this doesn't seem like it's going to go in the right good way. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggling, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favourite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. 
I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy, what the hell? Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. <laughs> why? Oh man. It doesn't matter if she ha if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Wow. I love how every uh, uh, stanza stands with, that's why I'm not friends with her. Until the last two. And I'm going to tell everyone. Wow. I love her poems. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you don't think that's a little that's the is the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyways, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can you can explain complicated issues with much simpler no, no. <laughs> and it helps people recognize how stupid you're being. Like anyone would agrees that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, it's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter, it can be anything, about anything. I wrote it to be easy to be re <clears throat> easy to relate. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Sometimes you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you and think less of you. But that's just peop that just makes people stupid. But... But... Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone, it makes them happy. I think people need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Huh, that's funny. You wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poems was about unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people should make each other feel insecure about those things. Shouldn't. Really? Well, I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, um, it's not like I would judge her or anything. Natsuki has real fun. I, I guess I should try not to be so mean to her. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing useless, and I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that? I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too. So look forward. We're gonna write another poem. What are you gonna talk about saving games? I know you know. I know you know. Okay, everyone, we're done reading all each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh. Do you really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves again in new any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't feel like do last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We'll we're 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 going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sarah has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets. We can give away during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, uh, sorry, I said you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Uh, oh no, Yuri, Yuri's not gonna like this. Performing? <laughs> uh, Ma Monica. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to be having a poetry performance. <laughs> Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. 
Sorry for putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sarah, who was colour colouring a poster, holds it up to show us. Are you kidding me, Monica? You don't you don't you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh, well I did. Do you really think that is a bad that bad of idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to perform in front of such a in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine in it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, no, Sarah. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room of people. I guess I kind of overtook that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're, going, we're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then, we'll, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show and from what literature is all about. Yeah! It's all about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun! That's right. And it's all those reasons that we're in the, all in this club today. Don't you want to share with that with the others? I'm not in the club for that. I'm in the club because these four are in the club. To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it takes... And if, it, if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Okay, we will remain silent. Sarah looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree! I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sarah and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like no one doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri's not going to do it. Did you glances around at everyone? <sighs> I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But, anyway. Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yourself, of yours. We're going to practice recite them in front of each other. N no way! Monica! Wait, that's not... This, this is so sudden. Well, if you can't recite the poems in front of the club, how do you expect to, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through a notebook to specific poems she has in mind. And starts behind the podium. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever, isn't it? The title of this poem is called The Ways They Fly. Actually, how long have I been recording for? 29 minutes. Uh, should we end it here or should we keep going? Um. Mm, let's keep going. Ahem. Monica's reciting a poem. Oh, at least we don't have to hear. A clear, confident voice fills the room. More than the in infection input. She knows exactly how to apply emotions behind each line she recites, bringing the world to life. Is this something she's done before? Or is it simply just natural? A glance around me. Now has her eyes on Monica. Sarah looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finish the recite recitation. The four staffs applaud. Yuri takes a breath and smiles. 
<laughs> that, that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set an example. I ready to go next, Saturday? Oh, I'll go next. Uh -huh. You'll be fired up all of a sudden. Yuri cl clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her hand head down, she walks quietly over to the podium. She looks so, she looks so, uh, what's the word? Uh, you know, never mind, let's just keep going. This poem is called Yuri and the Dance to Each Other. You can do it, Yuri. <clears throat> it, it's called after after image of a crimson eye shakes when she starts to read the poem just a moment ago she particularly refused to do this why is she suddenly putting in so much effort Aziri gets up Aziri gets past the first couple of lines her voice changes that's almost like what happened when Yuri gets absorbed into her books her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of fierce and confident confident that's the word I was looking for she looks so confident the poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she incutes with perfect timing. This must be rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealing in concealed inside her head. <laughs> Suddenly she finishes. She finished everyone is stunned. She snaps back into reality and glances around her. She bewi bewildered even herself. I it's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught off but we were so caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we follow, Yuri holds the poem in her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. It looks like Yuri's down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sarah hops onto a chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sarah. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you get? How did you guys do it so easily? <laughs> Try not to think of it like you're reading, to, reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so I'll come best that way. I see, I see. Okay, son. Sarah begins her poem. So it feels like a soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sarah is. It's seen and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sarah's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sarah meant when she said she likes my poems. Uh, it's like I get to reach more di Damn it! Sarah finishes. <laughs> I keep accidentally pressing it. I did it! Good job, Sarah. <laughs> you and Dad liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What do you mean? I, I literally... Yeah, what does that even mean? Like, I, sa I say that to everyone. It came out nicely, Sarah. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems would work wouldn't work quite as well with the kind of delivery. Eh, don't really understand. In other words, in other words, I've seen poems of yours work, whereas a softer, gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little bit more force behind them, depending on what, you, what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. <coughs> it's kind of embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> The next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> don't make me go before dark. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let dark lower everyone's standards a little bit before. <laughs> Natsuki? It's fine, it's fine. Might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection to what to read. I'll just have to go with the one I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. But I'm not exactly confident in my own writing. It's hard to put energy. Everyone's just looking at me like... <sighs> Despite that, 
Once I finish, I, recite, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good at uh, really at, as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about how your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that will improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. See where we get to see the next time. The poem is called. It's called, why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's a little un in Oh, bloody hell, I've got to take my finger off this. <laughs> uh -huh. It's Natsuki trademark style. It only works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, and as if I give life to the, and as if it gives life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You, you'd better not make me do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people. I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people, but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. What a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other one for me. <coughs> well, that, well, that's just how it is, though. So, so, well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming, though. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what's about now. Make sure you pick a poem that is enough to practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be saying. Jeez. I should probably... Oh, I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. That's fine, too. It doesn't... Ha it doesn't have to be your own. I'm already ple pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. Makes me really happy. Ah, oh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. Oh, the music changed again. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nice with this. I have to continue that. As well for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and we'll have to the weekend to prepare. Monday's a big day. <coughs> but I messed that up. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same man, same enthusiasm as Syra and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club. And impressing Monica, of course. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Syra. Oh, wait. Bloody hell. Yep. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. Oh, well, she just comes in. It must be a little nicer. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Dark. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I won't come with Sarah once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have happened. I've already changed. But today, Sarah's been a little quieter than usual. Or on the way home. Hey, sorry. 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 <coughs> sorry, I'll speak to you. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something familiar. And I can't get to. I mean, Sarah fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day you'll be asked to walk home with you. <coughs> so let's say. So let's just say that one day you'll be asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh man, choices. Oh, let's take some advice. Well, obviously I would walk home with Syra. Um, Syra? You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh, but, but she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, 
You've always seemed to really like going home together. I would just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Doc. You think about me too much sometimes. You would deserve her if she wanted to. Sarah, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in spe speculating something that never is going to happen? <laughs> the conversation trails off. It's kind of weird saying Sarah to care so much about, but I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. <clears throat> hmm. Let's wrap on for Sarah, I guess. Um, she likes happy and sad stuff. Guess is quite sad. Yep, see. Uh, frightening sunset. There we go. Uh, shiny. Oh no, that didn't work. Rain cloud. No, sunny. There we go. Marshmallow. Hmm. After image extraordinary. There we go. Uh. Yep, I'm good at this. And since we can't write it for Monica, you know? Uh, fireflies. Yeah. Summer. What? <laughs> Analysis, determination, anxiety, bubbles. Okay, I'm, I'm great at this. Nice. Pleasure. Mm, flower. See. Mm, vanilla. Friends. Promise. Raindrop. Strawberry. Fun. So last one was going to be about her. Uh, daydream. Oh wait, no, this is the last one. Never mind. Um, Valentine. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must be a. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe it's not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't all for you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Eh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, yes, Natsuki? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about other part of the fe our part of the festival, but it's the whole day of school when we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Syrah all of a sudden. Monica? M Monica? Do they usually have fried squid? Squid? It's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? <clears throat> I don't say I don't like I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's, it's right in your name. Man. Ika. Eh. That's not how you say... Mon Ica. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Ah, uh, never mind. Mon Ica. You're on it. Let's just focus on our event for now, okay? Mm hmm. Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri or Cyrus, anyway. 
Excuse me? Where is Sarah anyway? Oh, there you are. Sitting at her desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sarah. I have my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh-huh. Eh, <laughs> Sarah, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Uh, of, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry about me too much. Too much. It's fine, see? Sarah shows a big smile. Oh. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worry. I worry glance at Sarah's before turning back to everyone else. This conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at. <laughs> of course it has. Maybe I should ask Monica if she has noticed about Intimate recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must spend a lot of time together. Uh, papers to the desk. Derek, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Syra recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading a little too much into it, a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. I'm going to face across the room, please, idly dragging her rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you. I'm, not, I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Dark. You certainly know a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's she's never really liked this. She always talked to me about things that bothered her. This time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just want to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's, impo it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also with friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe. Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Dark. Me? How on earth would you come up with down with that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sarah talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sarah is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not anything different now that I've... Now that it's... Pfft, it's not any different now that it's always been. <laughs> is that funny, Derek? Have you said that maybe you're... You've always seen her as so cheer... As so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Mm-mm. <laughs> uh. Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. So you should just forget about what I just said. I don't talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, uh alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I wouldn't be able to get her words out of my head. Oh my god, is this, is this character so, so, so... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, so stupid. It's not. That's not the word I'm looking for. But so stupid. So, Monica stands up, her desk, and walks across to the room with Sarah. Sam. I watch her kneel down next to her and gen gently talk to her, but she keeps her voice so quiet that I can't hear anything from her. I sigh and set myself down. <laughs> I know Sarah told me not to worry about her and have fun with everyone else. That's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her as I'm letting this weigh me down so much? That feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? Glance around the room. Suddenly I notice you're peering at me over a bit. How could you just know when you're being watched? That's not how life works. But she looks away quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize she won't get anywhere like this. 
I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no chance but to approach Yuri myself. But now it's a lot easier for me to do that. I stand up at my desk and sit in the one next to her. I don't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that I could tell that you wouldn't you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How would you ever be able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well something that I do a lot. So it wasn't so hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring at you or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certain those who find the most comfort in keeping it to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sarah. Sarah? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't really want to admit it to me. I can't help but wonder if she, something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Eh? S sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just don't want you to misunderstand. Sarah and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Oh, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Dark? The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain, plain sight, and there are many untold mysteries behind every, every person, no matter how well you know you may know them. Ah, oh. so you think that there, so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mhm. Mm I think that Sarah is a very complex person. No, 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 no she's not. She, she, she's not. Her, her mannerism on the outside doesn't always match what may be going on inside her head and she may not always know what she wants I notice her strange behaviour today too and I also feel some concern for her but in your case it looks like she was fully occupying your thoughts wasn't she? well I guess that was the case Sarah she really means a lot to you doesn't she? uh I I guess but you don't need to put in Put it in that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. The expression is gentle and curious as she was searching for something. Embarrassed to avert my gaze. Sometimes a person <coughs> A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you are someone honest and caring. May I uncover feelings you weren't aware of what you're in. Z that is I think that she'd be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Y Yuri? You're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as, as sophisticated as you. Uh, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well. As long as you're okay with that. You're talking my mind, taking my mind off the whole thing anyway. Are we done? Should we pause it here? Nothing's happening. I say I save it. Save it, this part. Just save. Just save. Yes, I want to override the save. Just, just save. Boom. Saved it. Go back to the main menu. Saved. We're done. Saved. Boom. Okay. I don't know how long that went on for, probably about 50 minutes or so. Uh, anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, sub for more, uh, join the Discord, links in the description, and I'll see you all in the next one. Wow.